Hello, Shoei here. I'm a carpenter based in Japan. Again, I'm building something for fun today. I saw the cedar log about a year ago, cut out the good part, and made this board. Along with the remaining large log, I will use it to build an outdoor barbecue table today. Let's begin. もう冒頭にあやまっておくことがあるんで、これちょうど本でますね。ここ見てもらえばわかるよね。こんだけね。指1本で30年ぐらいですよね。ここら辺で10本でこれもですね。ずっと行って。このこなんですよね。これは何の?ここはこう。黒くなってますよね。最初これ作った時にここ
I'm claiming the world across the grave. It is easier and faster than claiming with the grave. It's easy once you get the hang of it. I have finished making the tabletop. Next, I mix the legs using the same wood as the tabletop. There are two remaining pieces of cut wood. I use a larger one. There is a hole in the middle. Based on the location of the hole, I'm looking for where to cut it. The table height will be 730 millimeters. I subtract the tabletop thickness and decide on the legs length. It's convenient if you have parallel objects around you because you can draw two lines simultaneously. Well, maybe only I use chalk lines for a DIY project. Now, I cut the legs. Of course, I use a chainsaw I always use. I bought this chainsaw, but it is only used for cutting logs. Honestly, I don't think I could use this for my work. However, it's easy to cut wood in one go. I said it's easy to cut, but I'm using a hand saw. It's miserable. I cut the middle into a triangle shape to make it as light and stable as possible. The leg shape is a semicircle, so it's already more stable than a circle. In addition, stability will be greatly increased by cutting out the middle and making it an L shape. Also, the weight lightens. I can kill two birds with one stone.
it would have been easier to remove the outer bark a year ago. However, the wood would have dried out in the sun, and it may have cracked. I wonder which way is better, but since it's not cracked much, I think this way was better. Water was getting inside. While drying, the hole near the bottom was facing up. I planed the inner notched part with an electric plane as well. You can plane various places with an electric plane. It is a very useful tool. Only concave surfaces, such as warped wood, cannot be planed, but the convex surfaces can. And that works well on this part. All tools are useful. Finally, I used Tsukinomi to finish it. The leg is rattling a lot. Take a look at the electric plane in wood, however. Despite the rattle, it is well plain. The legs were too big. I think cutting about 4 to 5 centimeters would be an ideal balance. This small chainsaw's chain is blunt. When the chain is not sharp enough, the wood shavings looks like sawdust. The finer the shavings, the less effective the saw. I'll sharpen the chain later. Since I finished processing the wood, I returned to my main stadium. <laughs> At last, I removed the remaining bark. If I had removed the bark a year ago, it wouldn't have become dirty like this. The lye on the bark has been dried by the sun, so it is difficult to remove the bark. I use a wire brush. It won't matter if it gets a little rough, since I'm going to finish it with oil. It may get damaged, but I use a belt sander only for the hole. I also finished the tabletop. I hand plane the surface and sand it down. I finish it with 240 grit sandpaper because I'm going to finish it with oil. I'm now applying the secret sauce. The roller is an old one, so it doesn't roll well. Rather than applying the oil, it's like pouring it. Since the table will be outside, the oil won't last as long, but I like the wood to absorb most of it. It turned out to be a nice color with fine wood grain, but the line has penetrated the middle metal part and the edges. 
it would happen better if this hadn't happened. Well, since this wood was supposed to be waste, the quality can't be helped. However, it was supposed to be chopped into wood chips, so it may feel happy being used as a board. Well, it's just my idea. I have finished building the barbecue table I built for fun. It turned out rugged and big, so it will probably get in the way. Though I make it an earful, I will leave it here. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.